Hey what's up guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing amazing and if you're not I hope your day gets better. I think that's my intro. Today I'm going to be telling the story of the worst hallucination episode I ever had. I know, yeah, positive stories with Lydia. My room's an absolute mess and I'm going to tidy it up soon, I promise. I've been having a bit of a, a, a moment, okay? You'll have to excuse it, I'm sorry. This episode happened earlier on this year and when it happened I made a video talking about it. So there is already a video on my channel talking about it. This story happened a while ago. And I did make a video talking about it and oh my god why are you being loud? So this story happened I want to say in around May time. This episode happened as a result of a huge dissociative episode and this was just before I got diagnosed with a dissociative disorder because of this I got diagnosed with the dissociative disorder because of this episode. So this story is it's intense okay and when this happened I believed it was a dream and the original story time I did is going to be linked in the description down below. It's also this thumbnail if you just want to scroll off my channel and find it. It's intense and it's real and it scared me when it happened. Now I can look at it and be like well I know why it happened and blah 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 blah. Like I know all of that but hey that's just that isn't it? So I'm gonna stop rambling on and get on with the video. But before I do if you're new here hit the subscribe button, leave a like and if you have any video requests you'd like me to do, if you have any video requests or any video ideas you'd like me to make videos on, leave them in the comments down below and I'll do them as soon as I can. So if you didn't know I wrote a book which you can buy on Amazon. It's an actual thing. Edition 2 is getting released at the end of the year. Boom. Amazing. Fun. And now let's get on with the story. Why the fuck am I dabbing? I'm in a weird mood but I'm also really tired because I got woken up today. So this story is... Uh, I don't know how many times I've said this but it's fucking real and intense and ah. Uh, it happened. Okay. So this happened back when I lived in Preston which was quite a while ago now. <laughs> I feel like I've told this story a lot but I can't reiterate the importance of it and this is like a story time so yes bitch this is uh so let me get started anyway so long story short i was in my bedroom and yeah i know bedroom what was i up to in there i don't know i was then walking outside and what i should point out at the start of this is i believe this was a dream when i woke up in the morning i didn't know this actually happened until i checked my call history which will make sense in a little bit so i was walking outside walking i can't remember where i was walking from like i said i thought it was a dream so i was walking back from somewhere to my flat and there was this half person so this person was like a half person half silhouette ghosty do you know what i mean like in films where you can see like ghost outlines but they're not actually ghosts because that's not how that shit works i don't think i don't know don't see ghosts you let me know in the comments. So there was this half person with a walking a dog. And the dog is important. The dog is the important part in this story. So I crossed the road. I was like, this shit's fucking weird. What the fuck? Crossed the road. I then blacked out, hit the floor. And if I had my other phone to hand, I'd show you the damage I did to it. I dropped the phone. Obviously, it, it shattered. But I then, when I next came around, I was running around a field around a corner. And there was these, this person had transformed into a dog in front of my eyes and started chasing me. And then all these other little invisible animals started running after me and this probably sounds really fucking crazy it, it's actually happened like i couldn't make this shit up if i tried and it was so terrifying at the time that i actually phoned the police i was so afraid of these ghosts and i could i i had the recording of this phone call it's on my other phone now but i literally said on that phone call i'm gonna sound crazy these ghost things are chasing me i don't know where the fuck i am or what's going on but i'm getting chased by ghosts I can you imagine that the response i got i know the police turned up and i know they threatened to arrest me and i know they drove me home these ghosts right before the police turned up i was running like i actually fucking ran like let's just appreciate that for a moment i ran i'm unfit as fuck the stairs made me tired walking to my pet unicorn that's there makes me tired i'm lazy as fuck okay the fact that i ran is a big deal and i didn't even know where i was like i remember trying to use google maps to work out where the fuck i was and i didn't know so i was in some unknown part of preston that i didn't know getting chased by ghosts because you know average saturday evening and what happened next is even worse so they then transformed back into people there was a large group of people then i started screaming leave me the fuck alone leave me alone leave me the fuck alone stop chasing me leave me the fuck alone and they didn't they then transformed into invisible fucking birds. I literally couldn't make the shit I wanted to. And they all flew up to the lamppost. Like it was on top of the lamppost that was there. It was all there. I was here running that way and these birds started flying through me and the next thing I knew I hit the floor. And then when the police turned up, now it's gonna get interesting. I remember I kept dropping my phone and kept dropping it because I couldn't. I was completely out of it. Like I kept dropping it. I thought my hands wasn't real. They was just invisible. I thought I was turning invisible because they had gone inside of me. Lydia was a bit delusional that night and the police drove me home and told me if I was 
to be found outside again they would arrest me thank you Lancashire police I really do appreciate that I hope everyone gets the sarcasm um so then when I was back in my flat and I woke up the next morning I was like oh what actually happened oh that was a really weird dream you know not thinking anything of it so I went onto my phone and then I checked my call log I checked all my call logs and I was like shit I actually phoned the police did this actually happen and I saw that my phone was all cracked and I was like then did that really happen and nothing that intense has happened since but something like that very similarly did happen very soon after and I think I mentioned this in the living with visual hallucinations video but I'm going to tell you the story anyway so after that incident a couple of weeks later I was sat lying in bed and the next thing I knew I was awake and I was seeing this rain slash snow stuff falling in my room and I was feeling it so it was a full-on tactile hallucination I'm gonna make a video soon explaining what tactile hallucinations are and what the difference is in all the different types of hallucinations that's a whole other video but this I was lying in bed and I looked over at my door and I saw a shadow coming through and then the door slammed shut and the lock closed and I was like what the fuck and I think I definitely have told the story before I called security because I was convinced because I kept seeing the shadows move these this little ghost dog thing transformed into my room and then this, this invisible dog was in my room the same one that was chasing me down the street the invisible dog was there and I was like what the fuck that doesn't make sense how the fuck did that happen and I was like oh my window's open they came through the window I was so fucking terrified I can't even put into words how afraid I was of all of this because it really really did fuck with my head I was like what the fuck is going on I ended up calling security and being like there's fucking someone in my bathroom there's invisible things in my room I keep feeling rain in my room what the fuck's going on help me and he, he came up to my room and then phoned the police and ambulance service and Lydia went to hospital because Lydia was was definitely seeing things because I literally saw the door close let's imagine this is my door I physically saw it close like it it closed and I saw a shadow of a person coming out I saw the hand open the door to flick the light switch off and then close it again I physically saw it happen but it didn't happen and it's like how the fuck did my mind construct something like that and the reason I'm telling this story is to say that people can have hallucinations and them it's not the same as doing some stupid LSD trip hallucinations are terrifying they are horrible to live with and you don't want them anyone ever offers you drugs that can cause hallucinations or drugs in general don't do it like hallucinations are fucking horrible you don't want them anyone who like fakes it or wants it fucking leave like hallucinations are the worst thing and it's the one thing about my, my mental health that I genuinely I hate more than dissociation like I genuinely hate it so much and it's fucking horrible the reason i'm telling this story though is so you know you're not alone like if you're going through it and if you're dealing with it i just want you guys to know that you are not alone because other people go through it so you are not alone i think that made sense my brain's not uh i'll be going live again tomorrow evening when i get in from university i'm not setting it up as a schedule i'll just be going live tomorrow at some point during the evening i'm in the uk so it'll be after 7 p.m uk time so it'll be around 8 p.m british summer not british summer time GMT, I don't know what GMT stands for, but 7pm GMT I'll be going live. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and if you've got any video requests, ideas, questions, or anything you want to add to this, or if you had a similar experience, leave it in the comments down below, and I will try and answer every single comment. I am very busy, I'm trying to get this new, this second edition of my book released by the end of the year, so I'm working very hard on that. If you'd like to buy the first edition of my book, the link is in the description and also on screen now. That was a mouthful, holy fuck. But yeah. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you do all the things because just support means so much to me and I love, love talking to people so please come and join the live stream tomorrow we have a laugh, we talk, we have a conversation and I'm not gonna lie, I'm really gonna need your moral support tomorrow because this bitch got a lot going on on Tuesday so yeah, I think that's all I've got to say for today and I'll catch you guys tomorrow with a new video yeah, I'm doing videos every single day at the moment so, woo, I'll catch you guys soon peace My way back to you Till you make amends With the demons you've been through And I can't regret Leaving you alone